Hi friends, breakfast is considered the most important meal of the day. And I'd say our handbags are just as important because they can either make or break an outfit. Today we're making a peanut butter and banana mug cake, a strawberry jam mocktail, and have tips for matching your handbag with your outfit on the next episode. Presented by the Suihiro Electric Gig, Sundays, 7 p.m. on Spectrum OC16. Aloha, I'm Valerie Joseph with Fashion Sense, reselling runway looks to the walkways of Hawaii and providing smart solutions to all your fashion needs. Hi friends, welcome to Fashion Sense. Today's episode includes recipes made with a food that can be found in over 90% of American household pantries. Can you guess? Let's head to the kitchen, I'll show you. The one food that can be found in most everyone's pantry, peanut butter. Did you guess it correctly? Peanut butter is packed with protein, has tons of vitamins and minerals, dietary fiber, and lots of healthy fats. So today we are making a peanut butter mug cake. Now what I love about mug cakes are not only is it easy to do and super delicious, but you can have an individual sized cake at your fingertips in a matter of minutes. How cool is that? Watch how easy it is to do. First we are gonna mash in a microwave mug half of a banana. Now make sure your mug is microwavable. I know it sounds silly, but not all mugs are. Okay, once you've got your banana nice and mushy, we are adding in one egg white, some peanut butter. I love peanut butter. I could take a spoonful of peanut butter straight from the jar out the door. In fact, I do that all the time. <laughs> and a little bit of vanilla extract. We're gonna give that a nice mix. I also think this is a fun recipe for the kids to do. Okay, once we've got that all mixed up, I'm gonna add in some oat flour. And you can use any gluten-free flour of your choice. some cinnamon, some baking powder, and a dash of salt. And you wanna get it all nice and mixed until it looks like cake batter. And then all you need to do is microwave this for 45 seconds to one minute. Now you definitely want to check your cake and make sure the center is nice and firm or springy. If it's not, then you want to keep microwaving in 15 second intervals. That looks like it's ready. Okay, I'm gonna to top it off with some Actually, I'm gonna add more peanut butter because I love peanut butter and peanut
peanut butter melted over a hot warm cake. I mean, oh my gosh, why not? Mm. Did I mention that I love peanut butter? Oh my gosh, okay. And I'm gonna add some sliced bananas. Now you could take this to a more decadent level by putting some chocolate syrup. All right, I am gonna dig in. Mmm, it looks a little funky, but it's so delicious. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so good. Look, it's steamy and it's hot, fresh out of the microwave. You could also prepare this the night before so that you could have something to microwave off the next morning or anytime you have a sweet tooth craving. I think the best part about this is that it's nice and warm and hot. It's like a fresh cake out of the oven. But a single serving. Peanut butter mug cake. We wanted something total building automation. We chose Light Cloud because of that reason. Our future is to be totally off grid. I'm Daryl Suhiro, president of D Suhiro Electric Inc. We are using Light Cloud to control all of our lighting and we were able to integrate it with our mechanical system, which controls our AC system and our exhaust fans in our restrooms and the warehouse ventilation. Our favorite feature is being able to totally control every light fixture in this warehouse. Summarizing Light Cloud, total building lighting automation. Hi friends, good skin care is important because it helps to keep your skin in good condition. An effective routine can help treat wrinkles, acne, and keep your skin looking at its best. Today we are chatting with our beauty expert and my dear friend, Deidre Harvey, owner of Zo Lash Pro, who's gonna talk all about skin care, including sunscreen. Hi Deidre. Hi Val. Deidre, there's so many different products out there. How do we know which one's best for us? I always say seek advice from a professional. Uh -huh. So at Zolash Pro, we have a nurse practitioner, Nita, of Nita Aesthetics, who specializes in dermatology medicine. Mm. So at your salon, you carry medical grade products. What's the biggest difference between over-the-counter and these medical grade products? So the big difference is there's a higher potency of the active ingredient versus products that you may buy over the counter. Mm -hmm. Another factor is the low side effect profile, which means that you're gonna have less irritation to the skin. Mm -hmm. It's more effective, better quality. And you can only get medical grade from a provider, yes. right? So let's talk about sunscreen. So sunscreen is so important mm -hmm. for all of us, right? So I agree. Sunscreen will help reduce the damage that can be done by the sun rays with the UV rays. It also can prevent dark spots or aging spots like mm -hmm. we call it. And it also can just reverse the aging process a little bit, which mm. we all need. And it's such an important part of our skincare routine. And so what's the difference between medical grade sunscreen and over-the-counter sunscreen? Over-the-counter sunscreen contains more harmful chemicals that mm. are not good, that gets absorbed into your skin. Uh -huh. It's also not good for the environment mm -hmm. or the reef. So the medical grade, it's a pure physical sunscreen with less harmful chemicals. Mm -hmm. You wanna look for labels that contain zinc oxide or titanium dioxide. Those are good ingredients to have. And our skin is our biggest organ, so it's important that we put healthy ingredients on our skin because they get absorbed into our system. Great tips, Deidre. Guys, if you want more beauty tips, head to our website, fashionsensehawaii.com. If you want more tips on anything beauty related, head to their website and follow them on their Instagram at Zolash Pro. We'll be right back. Hawaiian coffee body scrubs. Moisturizing. Rejuvenating. Energizing. Sun kissed. Alluring. Beautiful. Handmade in Hawaii with Aloha. Coco Java. Welcome back. 
I can't think of anything better to pair with peanut butter than strawberry jam. Here's another quick recipe. We're making a strawberry jam mocktail. Knowing how to make a jam mocktail is a game changer. Something you can whip up in a moment's notice and it looks real fancy. And who doesn't have a jar or two or three of jams, jellies or preserves in their fridge? And if you don't and you have to get one, there are so many possibilities to this recipe. Today we're making a strawberry jam flavor. First what I'm going to do is squeeze some fresh lemon into a cocktail shaker. Nothing beats fresh ingredients. I love it when the lemons I pick up have so much juice. Okay, next I'm going to add some mint leaves. I'm just going to roughly tear them into the shaker. And then we're just going to muddle the flavors together. It smells so yummy. Then we are going to add a spoonful of strawberry jam. Actually, I'm going to add two spoonfuls. Add some ice cubes and shake it up. <laughs> Feeling like a mixologist. I'm just going to pour that into a cocktail glass. Yum. And then top it off with some salts or water. Oh, gosh, delicious. I am going to garnish with a fresh strawberry. Ooh. And a mint sprig. Oh, look how beautiful that is! I'm going in for a sippy sip. Mm. It's so refreshing, so fancy looking. To view all of our episodes, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have a mocktail recipe you'd like to share with us, send that to our website, fashionsincehawaii.com. Cheers. things to make a successful classroom, but it only takes one small donation to make a difference. A donation to our island's public schools is a giant step towards building a future for our keiki. Learn how you can make a difference at communityhelpingschools.org. Hi friends, selling a house is not easy, especially when emotions are involved. 
Today our real estate expert Denise Miyahira is here with some tips on how to detach emotionally from your home for a quicker sale. Hi Denise. Hi Val. So yes, it can be very emotional when you have to sell your home. You spent probably all your time and energy creating memories, mm -hmm. you know, spending time with your family and friends. It became this home that you really love, but you now have to move forward and sell the home. So let's look at it as a financial transaction okay. and take the emotions out. So the first thing you want to do is be prepared. Mm -hmm. So make sure that you understand why you're selling your home. And most people have a reason behind selling their home. Either it's because they are looking to upsize, they need a bigger house, they need a bigger yard, or maybe they are downsizing because it's too much house. And it might be a good idea to write down those goals Absolutely. on a piece of paper or someplace mm -hmm. and post it where you can see it every day. Absolutely. Something valid. to remind yourself why Absolutely. you're doing it. <laughs> you definitely need that reason to keep pushing you forward. And it's going to be very emotional right. being on this roller coaster. You have to remember why you're doing all of this. Be prepared. The second thing is do it when you're ready. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you want to make sure to sell when you're ready. And the reason is if you get all these great offers but you're not ready, you're not going to accept anything. You have to be ready to let go. Mm -hmm. Next step is don't show up at your own open house. Okay. That might actually be a hindrance. Your real estate agent is there at the open house so they can gather out information. If the buyers come in and they see you sitting there, they might feel a little too much pressure. And you may not get honest feedback as well, right? Exactly. Once you get all that information back from your realtor, uh -huh. don't take offense. Okay. But if you notice a trend, then maybe you might want to consider doing something because that might be the obstacle or the reason why you're not able to sell. So the last tip is take the emotions out of negotiations. Okay. The buyers obviously like your house. They yes. made you an offer. Mm -hmm. They like the home. When they're doing their inspections, they're going to point out every single flaw, point out the great attributes about your house. And that way you both can get through the negotiations and happily come to an understanding and be able to sell your house and move forward. Great tips, Denise. Always work with a professional licensed real estate agent. For more pro tips, head to our website, fashionsensaway.com. For anything real estate related, contact Denise directly. Thanks, Val. And together, we'll find the keys to your happy home. We'll be right back. We wanted something total building automation. We chose Light Cloud because of that reason. Our future is to be totally off grid. I'm Daryl Suhiro, president of D Suhiro Electric Inc. We are using Light Cloud to control all of our lighting and we were able to integrate it with our mechanical system, which controls our AC system and our exhaust fans in our restrooms and the warehouse ventilation. Our favorite feature is being able to totally control every light fixture in this warehouse. Summarizing Light Cloud, total building lighting automation. Hi friends, I've got your backs. I have for you today a stretch that is gonna feel so yummy on our lower backs. And you know, let's be honest, sometimes we don't necessarily prioritize stretching, but there are so many added benefits for the body. Why don't we go ahead and grab some space because that's all you're gonna need and a few moments to take care of you. Let's go ahead and shoot our legs out in front of us. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna round through the back so that we can press the lower back in there. Tuck chin to the chest and let's lower down. Once we're here, take both arms out to the side at shoulder level. Then let's go ahead and let's shift so that both knees are close 
to the chest. Top of the thighs are gonna be quite close as well. Let's go ahead and slowly bring it down. We're gonna start off with a modification of a bent leg version of our spinal twist here. Gently lowering them down. Now, if in the event your body shifts and that back shoulder pops up, just readjust yourself so that we can glue both shoulders to the floor. Now, once we do that, a top knee might pop up. That's okay too. Let's go ahead and add the palm closest to it and encourage them to take out that space. This is your bent knee spinal twist. A yummy lower back stretch here. Once we've spent some time here, take your top hand off, place it back to the floor. Gently bring the tops of both legs back up to your chest so that we can bring them back up. Lower back is now pressed into the floor once again. We're gonna move on to a straight leg version. Let's go ahead and lift both legs up. They are straight and stacking right above the hips. We're gonna allow these legs to fall to the side. We're working on the same side now. Slowly lowering and lowering. Once the legs have reached the floor, adjust your shoulders once again. Press both shoulder blades into the floor, gluing them together. Now, once we've spent some moments here, we're gonna go ahead and lift the legs back up to the top. You can press through your palms to help stabilize and slowly bring them back up. Once they're here, bend, press your palms again, and let's rock it back up. Now, we did two versions, a bent knee spinal twist and a straight leg spinal twist. And of course, we focus on one side. When you do this at home, you're gonna want to make sure to do both sides and feel the benefits from this stretch. Remember, always be kind to your body. Welcome back. They say diamonds are a girl's best friend, but handbags are the real MVPs. What else can hold your lip gloss, your wallet, your keys, and everything else you need on a daily basis? Whether you're headed to the office or to the gym, you're bound to have a handbag by your side. But the question is, does it need to match your outfit? In most cases, yes. Here are some tips. First, keep the occasion in mind. A particular bag may be perfect for the workplace, but not for a wedding. For special occasions like parties and weddings, pair your outfit with an elegant clutch or a miniature bag. If you're attending an event from work, be sure to pack an evening purse and appropriate shoes to switch into. An oversized or sporty bag is great for shopping or a day out with friends. The trick to remember is to match large bags with casual outfits and smaller ones with more formal attire. 
When running errands, keep in mind the extra items you may need at your fingertips. A larger bag can help keep you organized to get your checklist done. And choose a material which complements your other clothes. While matching your handbag with other accessories like your shoes or belts are quite common, it's not the only option. Try coordinating the colors of your outfit with your handbag and shoes to make a style statement by identifying colors that go well with each other. When wearing a printed dress, stick to a solid color handbag. Here we pulled the contrasting colors of red and yellow into Brittany's handbag and shoe. Pay attention to your body shape. Just like your clothes, your handbag also needs to suit your body shape. For people with a more petite figure, medium sized or crossbody bags are a great choice. For monochrome outfits, you can experiment with a printed bag and shoes to bring out your stylish side. It's always best to choose a purse that represents your style or personality because you're more likely to use it. Along with adding some style, handbags are also a lifesaver when it comes to accommodating all the items we need on a daily basis. A good handbag can make you stand out in a crowd. And that's our show for today. Thank you so much for joining us. It's always great sharing with you. And a special thanks to DSUI Hero Electric, known for their modern and progressive lighting solutions. To view all of our episodes, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram and Facebook, or head to our website to send us your favorite recipes or questions. We'd love to share them on the show. Let's stay connected. Until next time, be fabulous, be beautiful, be the best version of you. We'll see you again. For more Oh, for more. See, it's my pirate tooth. <laughs> I'm serious. It's making me talk like, but like, like with a list. Toss it. Toss it. It's a salami and cheese action. You know about the salami and cheese? You know. Fun, 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 fun. <laughs> Fashion Sense is presented by the Sui Hero Electric Gang. Sundays, 7 p.m. on Spectrum OC16.